Continuing our journey to Europe's highest train station, the ingenuity of Swiss engineers is apparent as we climb the railway they built back in 1912. Amazingly, our train tunnels through the Eiger on our climb all the way to the Jungfrau yoke. Think about it. The Swiss drilled this tunnel through solid rock. It's four miles long. This train is smooth, and they did it a hundred years ago. Why? To show off their engineering skills and to celebrate nature. Halfway up, the train stops at panorama windows. While expert rock climbers can exit here into an unforgiving world of ice and air, sightseers get their thrills by simply marveling at the icy views. Continuing up the tunnel, from here the train's cogwheels earn their keep. You emerge at 11,000 feet, the Jungfrau yoke. Spectacular views of majestic peaks stretch as far as you can see. Cradled among these giants, you understand the timeless allure of the Swiss Alps. The Jungfrau yoke is like a small resort perched on a mountain ridge. From the highest viewing point, you can see the Alich Glacier, which stretches about 10 miles to the south. While shrinking with the warming global climate, it's still the longest glacier in the Alps. The air is thin. People are in giddy moods. The station is a maze of shops, restaurants, and amusements. A tunnel is actually carved through the glacier to a cavern of ice sculptures, an especially big hit for visitors from lands where ice is a rarity. Outside on the glacier, people enjoy the scene. From here, many venture even higher as a snowy trail leads to more mountain thrills. But for me, I'll call this good and savor the sense of accomplishment I get when climbing to 11,370 feet before lunch.